Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Peter Dunn. Mr. Speaker, I want to join with others in expressing sympathy and condolences to the family of the late Sir Graham Latimer and recording my own personal sympathy at his loss. I first met Sir Graham in around 1979 or 1980 when he was appointed as Deputy Chair of the Alcoholic Liquor Advisory Council, of which I was Secretary at the time. We didn't know very much about him other than his association with the Māori Council, which had offices conveniently just over the road from ours, and we felt that this might have been a convenient device to take some travel costs off the Māori Council's budget and shift it to ours. But we quickly came to realise that he was a man who was not only wily and shrewd in the best sense of those words, but had a genuine sense of compassion and a clear vision about what he wanted for his people and what he wanted for New Zealand. But he was also a remarkably pragmatic man. I recall one occasion, Mr Speaker, where a colleague who happened to be Welsh and I accompanied Sir Graham to the Ratna Pa. And we were given a very formal welcome as befitted his status. But I wasn't all that familiar with Maori protocol at that stage. But it became clear to me that something a little unusual was occurring because the Pofuri had become a long series of chants, quite rhythmic chants. And I leaned across to Sir Graham and said, what's going on? He said, oh, they are reciting their lineage back to the great canoe. And each speech took several minutes to deliver. And then there was a silence and he leaned across to me and he said, we're going to have to do the same, <laughs> which came as a considerable shock and a surprise. And then just before our turn, he said, it's OK, I'll handle it. So he, he got up, he spoke for no more than 30 seconds in Maori, sat down to uproarious laughter. I was somewhat concerned and said to him, what did you say? And I, he said, I said, he's Welsh and the other two of us come from the great canoe endeavour, which in a way showed how Sir Graham bridged all worlds. And he had a remarkable, I think, down-to-earth New Zealand sense of humour, but he was through and through a Maori New Zealander as well. And Mr Speaker, his achievements during the 80s, the fact that he held the office of Chair of the Māori Council for 40 years is a tribute to his durability, his pragmatism and his common sense. And this country, sir, is considerably the worst for his passing. So I join with others in lamenting the death of Sir Graham Latimer. But I take a certain pride in feeling that I could say that I knew him, and I take a terrific pride in what he was able to achieve on behalf of his people and our country generally to make it a better place for all of us. Mr Speaker. David.